Today is our last day using coins, and we are gonna be using these coins to help us um, write equations to even bigger numbers than we did yesterday, okay? So if you have your coins, go ahead and get them out. Um, you can get them out, but our numbers today are gonna to be pretty big, so you may not have enough coins to build, but that's okay. I'm gonna be drawing most of them with you, so you can just draw them with me too if you don't have enough coins. So first off, my challenge question. Can you show how you could make 80 cents with coins. Go ahead and pause the video, see if you can make 80 cents with coins. All right, if you are back, that means you already thought about how to make 80 cents with coins. So you should have a drawing or something built. Okay, let's check your answers. So we could do 80 what? 80 pennies, because 80 pennies would be one cent each. 80 pennies would be 80 cents. Um, I don't want to do nickels, that'd be a lot to count. We could count by fives until we got to 80. Well, let's do it. So how many nickels would it take to get to 80? Let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So 5, 10, 15, 16. So if you have 16 nickels, it would get you to 80. Let's do dimes. And I'm going to write this one out too. How much is a dime worth? 10 cents. So how many dimes would you need to get to 80? Well, we could count by tens, couldn't we? And this is what I am going to write out and show you. Let's, I wrote out some dimes. Let's count our dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So 10 or 8 dimes, whether 10 cents each, gives us 80 cents. Now, if you use quarters, you would have to use a combination of different coins, which you totally could do because one quarter would be 25 cents plus another quarter would be 25 plus 25 is 50 cents plus another quarter would be 50 plus 25 more would be 75 cents. So that's kind of trickier math. And then you'd have 75 cents and you have to add until you got to 80. So 75 cents plus a nickel would get you to 80 cents. But that one's pretty tricky. So I think the easiest way to do this is to use our tens, our dimes to get these big numbers. Okay, that's what we'll be doing today. So ten, or eight dimes gets us to 80 cents. How can we write this if we wanted to write the number sentence? We'd have to write 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, I almost wrote the wrong thing. Equals 80 cents. So that's how we could write it as a number sentence. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do is just show this in the place value chart. So this is a lot to write, but if we were going to show it in the place value chart, how many ones do we have? Do we have any pennies or ones? No, we just have eight tens. So it'd be eight in the tens place, no ones, so zero in the ones place. So eight dimes or eight tens would give us 80. All right, now we're going to try a different number. Our next number we want to get to is 68 cents. Hmm, how would you get to 68 cents? Go ahead and pause the video. Try to do it. Try to get to it using quarters, nickels, dimes, or pennies. I would recommend maybe use your dimes. Okay, pause the video. Try. All right, if you're back, that means you went ahead and you tried to get to 68 cents on your own, right? Okay, I'm going to put it in the place value box because I think that might help us. So if I have 68 cents, how many ones do we have? Eight. How many tens do we have? Six. What coin is, could be eight cents? How can we get to eight cents? Let's break it down a little bit. We could do eight pennies. So I could draw eight pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or we could do what? You have an idea? We could do a nickel, which is five cents, plus some pennies. So five, six, seven, eight. So a nickel plus three pennies, or just eight pennies, could get us to eight in the ones place. Now let's do the tens place. We need to get six in the tens place. Six tens. That's easy. We can do that. We can do six tens. Six dimes. We can totally do that. One, two, three, four five, six, and these are our dimes. So there are tens. 
This is all gonna connect for you guys in just a minute. You're gonna be so excited. So look at this, if we have 68 and we wanted to break it into like a number bond, whoop, we could do it with our place value chart. How many tens? Six tens, which is the same as six D and eight ones. So look at that. So we took that number, we looked at the tens and the ones like we've done before, and we were able to make it using cents by breaking it apart, looking at the tens and the ones. Pretty cool. So that's a way to break it down. If you look at a big number like this and you're like, oh, it's too big, I can't do it. Think about how many tens, how many ones. Remember, a dime is one ten worth 10 cents, and the pennies are worth one cent. So you can always make that with dimes and pennies. All right, we're gonna do our next challenge, ready for this? Write this down with me. 92 plus eight pennies. 92 plus eight pennies. How can we solve this? Well, go ahead and pause and see if you can solve if you want to. If you're not sure at all, we'll go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I have 92 plus eight. We could build it with our coins. That might take a long time. We could count on or we could build it with our place value blocks where we could do our nine tens and two ones and then eight ones and do the place value chart. We could do all of that. I feel like I just want to do it counting on. So I'm going to do that. So let's do 92 plus eight more. So put 92 in your head. Let's count on eight more. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So 92 plus eight is 100 cents, which is the same as $1, but we're gonna focus on the cents today. So if you're looking at the place value chart, and ones, and if we had our 92, it would have looked like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with two more, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then 10. So we would have moved those over, it would have become how many tens? How many tens do we have? We have 10 tens, or you could have 10 dimes. So if you have 10 tens, it's the same as having 10 in the 10 spot, and then no ones. So see, can you see the 100 there? One, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. So we have 100 cents, and that's how you could show it in the place value chart. In second and third grade, you'll go to the hundreds place. We're not gonna do that in first grade. We're just gonna stay with the tens and the ones but you will build the hundreds once you get to second grade. All right, so we have 100, and if, to get to 100, you would want 10 tens, which would be our dimes. What happens if I add one more dime? 100 plus 10 more. So I'd have 10 tens plus one more 10. How many tens would we have? 11 tens. Oh, what number is that? 100 and so that would change our answer. So if we have 100 plus 10 more equals 110. What if I added one more 10? How many dimes would we have to get to that? I have 110, I add one more dime. What does it become? 11 dimes turns into, add one more, 12 dimes. Oh, look at that number, 120. That's our number in first grade, woohoo, 120. So we have 110 plus one more dime, that's 10 cents, gives us 120. So to get to 120, you just need how many dimes? 12 dimes or 12 tens. Wow, we are using all these big math numbers. If you feel a little confused, that's okay. We're using bigger numbers today with coins. All right, let's see. We're gonna play store for our math time today. And you're gonna try to figure out how to pay for something using coins. And we're gonna practice, we'll do two practices and then you're gonna do the rest on your own. You're gonna get to buy some cool things. I wish I could get, do it in real life because it'd be a lot of fun. First thing, let's buy these cool sunglasses that I got from Mr. Will. I found them, so they're mine and they're kind of crooked, but you can have them if you can pay me 87 cents. So go ahead and pause the video, see if you can figure out how to make 87 cents to buy these crooked cool sunglasses. So pause, 87 cents. How are you gonna get to that? Hmm, pause the video. Okay, if you're back, this means that you've already tried to make 87 cents. Now, I think the easiest way to do this is to break it down into tens and ones. 
How many tens? How many ones? So seven cents, how can you make that with coins? You can do seven pennies, yeah? And to draw our pennies, remember we just do the circles and we write one, because each penny is worth one cent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And those are all one cent, one penny. Okay, so I could do that and then I have my ones place. How am I gonna get eight in the tens place? Oh, we have the coin that's worth 10 cents. So I would just need how many of them? Eight. So I could do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dimes. Now there are some different ways you can do this. You could use quarters, you could use nickels, but I just wanna show you the easiest way that I think would make sense for you. So if you wanna challenge yourself and try to use nickels and quarters, go ahead and do that. But today I'm really gonna show you how to do that tens and ones to make change, okay? So we have eight dimes, seven pennies would give us 87 cents. And if you have different ways, awesome. If you're trying to use quarters and nickels, awesome. So if you were able to make that, yay, you get Mr. Will's glasses, ready? Hold on. Through them to you through the screen. All right, let's practice one more. I have this awesome hat that I've been using for read alouds this week. You can have it if you can pay me 101 cents using coins. 101 cents. So pause the video and see if you can figure out how to buy my hat with 101 cents. All right, if you're back, that means you already tried to solve. So I'm going to put it in a place value chart because I think that makes the most sense. I have my tens, I have my ones. How many are in the ones place? One. How many are in the tens place? 10. So all you would need to do is how many ones would be what? One penny. And how many, what else would you need? 10 tens or 10 dimes. And you could draw that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Oh, I had a rhythm and then I lost it, nine, 10. So I could buy the hat with 10 dimes and one penny. And that's how I showed my work. Remember, use that place value chart if these numbers are confusing to you. That is always the ones place and then whatever's over here is gonna be your tens place. And we're not doing a hundreds place yet in first grade, you'll do that in second grade, okay? So that's how you could buy my hat. If you got that ready, catch the hat. Whew. All right, hopefully you caught it through the phone or through the iPad or through the computer, whatever you're using. All right, so now you're gonna do that for the rest of the homework. There's not gonna be like answers slides since there are different ways to solve these. You could use quarters, you could use dimes, you could use nickels, you could use pennies. So there's not gonna be an answer slide, but what you're gonna see for your work will look like, oh, uh, if it loads, this. So buy a little toy unicorn for 32 cents. That's what it's gonna look like. And then you're gonna draw right here how you would buy that. Would you use quarters? Would you use pennies? Would you use dimes or nickels? I would recommend putting it in a place value chart, seeing how many ones and how many tens, and then drawing your coins right here of how you would buy that unicorn. You have a couple of these problems to solve, and then if you do a store at home, I think that would be a great idea to do a store at home and practice using coins more, okay? Hope you have fun, and I will see you for writing.